the record button. Oh, okay. Welcome everyone to Let's Talk Talk Tech. I'm getting better at pronouncing the title of the meeting uh, for 24th of February, 2022. Um, so we have, please, by the way, please add yourselves to the attendees list in the meeting notes. We have a couple of items so far. If anybody else wants to add something else, please feel free. Meanwhile, I will start. The first one is very short, uh, an update. Uh, actually, I was meaning to have the PR ready here, but the PR has not been submitted yet. Sorry, but basically a heads up. It was mentioned in, in other meetings, but just wanted to make everyone aware of that. Uh, the proposal that we are going to remove the needs triage label from most of the repos, leaving it only for a few selected repos, support, core, basically the, the few repos that are meant to be more externally facing or more open to new people who are not too familiar with the workflow. And the reason for this is uh, there's a crowd plugin managing that label, but it has to be configured per repo and we only want to have it on, on well, it, it, it's kind of an overhead and the label itself is an overhead. The benefit it comes with is the plugin, besides labeling, also adds nice informational messages like this issue is waiting triage and et cetera, but because we are all familiar with, with it, we don't need it everywhere. Make sense? And but that we don't put any labels, but we triage them as long as they are not triage accepted. Correct. Yeah, I mean, I was about to say this doesn't affect the rest of the triage slash um, something labels, meaning that uh, we consider something not triage if it doesn't have one of those triage slash or triage accepted, triage duplicate, triage. Uh, mm, it's not one fix. It's well, anyway, uh, not resolved. I mean, we will consider the the lack of triage slash something as something that needs triage regardless of if it has a needs triage label or not okay it's the same across all repos and triage party already does this so if you look at issues needing triage in triage party it's based on the presence or not presence of a triage slash something so in other words needs triage is just uh, user-friendly aspect for, for a few of the repos. Okay. Comments, questions? Good. Uh, that might make it a little bit simpler. And um, uh, shall we keep that uh, in the core repository, that um, terms and condition document up to date? Or shall we just always have a look at the triage party the triage party is already up to date and a pr to update the document the whole triage process is on the way um again there is no specific pr for this yet unfortunately but there is this this is the background of the of of why this is happening and it, it turns out that we had some um some repos where needs triage was causing conflicts and that's kind of the the proposed solution right now those those repos affected can only be actually fixed by uh, those of you who have uh, write permissions on the and can manage manually manage labels on on the repos, which is not the case in, in case. So once the PR merges to to remove its trash, Peribolos will take care of removing the labels. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Cool, I'll move to the next one. Seek updates again. Three weeks ago, we had this uh, discussion, link it here, uh, about 
what six do we have? And I copied this to today to continue with a couple of updates. Since then, uh, six the guidance has been um, formally created. So thanks. Uh, SIG pipelines has been folded into the SIG DEXF COPS. And we were left discussing those three and and with the proposal to remove SIG DOCS. That's what I wanted to, to discuss today to, to kind of finalize that discussion. I have a proposal uh, for two of them. Uh, I, I believe that Six that the, the shiny new um, six stack guidance seek also would cover security and data, but I wanted to confirm this. Um, I agree on security because I think we already talked about that, uh, but um, just about the seek data, what does it uh, contain? Like uh, what were the sub project that were proposed in the SIG? Yeah, I should say, I don't know. It's uh, actually a SIG is data question mark. I'm not sure what was supposed to be SIG data. Um, I think we uh, had um, discussions about um, the, 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 um, these SQL alchemy things. What are they called? not called migrations isn't it no it's not called migrations the schema updates uh, from sql alchemy right that stuff that was sometimes uh, that were sometimes um asynchronous oh, right. to the deployment and stuff like that um so i think we folded that into the release planning meeting or, or um we are in, have a better practice um, because the question didn't come up in the past memorable few weeks months maybe it's it's uh, irrelevant to think about data because it's well covered i think you mentioned things that overlap a bit with both knowledge graph maybe and devsecops to some extent yeah. into, but right. probably but worth a, a dedicated seek yeah, I think the the last two, like uh, security and data, they fold into on the six we have above. Okay, everyone agrees? Any objection? Okay, um, then the other two, user experience and docs. Um, let me bring up a seek list. Um, the last time we we talked about this, there was a proposal to remove a seek docs. Um, and I wanted to re revisit that uh decision i <laughs> are we sure that we want to remove sig docs um or maybe rephrase it a, a bit instead i believe i believe it's important to have um a, a group focused on making sure that document the documentation is is good but especially that externally yeah all the documentation in general, but yeah, I mean, and, and isn't, not, isn't that something writing documentation just to clarify? Uh, yeah, isn't that something that we shouldn't be um, that 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 we should make a like a good behavior of code reviewers? So I mean, if if we are fixing typos, we don't need documentation for that one, right? Um, but if we are implementing new features, we should have some kind of documentation on that one if it's an if it's a uh, method in the library i mean uh, pre-commit will complain about uh, no doc string but anyway uh, the committer should or sorry the approver damn it 
the reviewer should go ahead and see if the documentation is okay, if uh, if it's to be understood. So so maybe at least my my initial thought was uh, we need to have a special focus on documenting things, but maybe we should make it simply and and good behavior of each and every reviewer. We, go ahead. We, we we could have the the there still be a documentation interest group, but they just come up with uh, they come up with like the best practices and uh, make sure that when they review things, they look for those um, just so that we're all on the same page with like uh, how we should document individual like um, functions and stuff and where we're adding features uh, feature documentation. So it, they come up with the practices, but the individual team members actually own exactly take, yeah. like doing those things yeah i think that's the idea uh, yes uh, and then there are like in terms of of owning direct documentation by the sig docs the only thing that would be owned let's say would be the and here's what the what's in the list so far is like the the, the terms and conditions documentation that you mentioned, uh, make sure that this is up to date and and, and, and the related how, how, like projects related documentation and the website itself. Might maybe not something to focus constantly, but and, and the main documentation and and about yeah component documentation. Every developer should. Do the needful, as they, as they say, and they just provide guidance here or identify gaps, miss, like missing this documentation is missing. And in terms of code ownership, there is also the um, I don't, ne ne Neptis or Nephits. Uh, sorry, why do we have so hard names? Um, <laughs> yeah, because we are Egyptians. Like, yeah, the document generation process, let's say, or a document management process and, and all that stuff, but that's kind of tooling really. Um, um, could you repeat that, Kevin? So, so I think you took it uh, to a level higher on a meta uh, level, right? We yeah we want to think about how to be good coders with the focus on documentation. Oh, yeah. no. Could you repeat that? The so basically like coming up with with kind of like rules for how we document stuff that way everyone knows what to look for in each individual PR. So yes. it, it, it's similar to like the ComCom -com, uh, group, um, but just on our individual. Uh, yes, and, um, and um, that is uh, exactly what uh, came to my mind. Um, a, the question, isn't that a thing that we should push a level higher? Like, does it apply for the operate first people and for the for the AI ops people too? Uh, uh, suggestive uh, question, I know, uh, because the answer is pretty clear. Uh, and B, um, it feels like a like a one time effort, right? We're going to sit down, uh, meet for five times, and figure out. Okay, these are the rules and guidelines. If 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 you show that behavior, you're a good uh, citizen. If you don't show that behavior, you need to improve. Um, so if it's a one-time effort, um, and if we adhere to our new uh, governance processes, um, let's make this one like like a sub-project or a working group in the uh, community experience, I guess. That's ComCom that you mentioned, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. But I still feel it's not a one-time effort, I think. Someone should keep an eye on. Maybe, maybe it, yeah, it, it comes. Is... The eye comes from higher above, if if you want. But like, mm. or, or no, um, it, that eye is twofold, right? It it is one side of the eye is uh, me looking at you if you're good participants of that practice. And the other eye, side of the eye comes from everybody of you because uh, you want to improve yourself and write good documentation. And as I said, I think the approvers should keep a special eye on what, sorry, <laughs> the reviewers should put in special uh, look on whatever comes in, if it's if it's good or not good. It's it's It feels like a mixture of peer pressure and, and stuff like that. 
because we want to improve, we, we accept that peer pressure. But I wouldn't make it something where a SIG continuously reviews if the standards are okay, or a SIG continuously picks on five random PRs and checks if the source okay. code or the documentation quality is good. That, that, that feels not like the right approach. Um, 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 I can't remember um, how we did that, but I think there is the uh, special interest group uh, community experience and uh, um, is there a working group for communication or collaboration within community? Uh, Something like that. Well, yes, but I guess you are talking more about the uh, webs, maybe. I'm not sure exactly. There are multiple. <laughs> there are so many things nowadays and so, so projects. Communication is more about not not only documentation. Actually, it's more about uh, communi like communication. Sorry, information flow. If you want, doesn't have to be documentation only. And then in the community, in the operate first community, see there there is a working group for. Um, website updates and what this this type of governance um open governance and, and documenting all the processes and stuff um who, who's going to find a new home for this uh, zig kevin could you reach out to that comcom -com, whatever it is working group sub project or is it the wrong place i don't know i didn't follow closely actually. We will raise a, we can raise it in the next meeting no. or we just send a minute. Okay. But the conclusion here is that the taught sick dogs should die. Like, okay. Oh, so it should reincarnate. Okay. Good. Then the only one left is user experience. And back to the sick list. Um, The question is, do we need a uh, user experience SIG or not? And is it correctly formulated or do we need to change scope? Um, I think I created this one because I think that user experience should have an, an, an special focus um, for us. Um, we are targeting developers with a command line tool. We are targeting developers with with a GitHub application. Um, developers have uh, have an attitude of what feels good. Developer experience is quite a topic, and maybe we should invest there. Um, we should have a look at it. Do we need some kind of organizational structure for that, it's like a ZIG? I, I don't know. Maybe it's the same as documentation. Maybe we should make it a repeating item on, on our Tech Talk agenda. And uh, if we figure out, oh, this doesn't feel good, uh, we should talk about that. Opinions, ideas, comments? I have an opinion, but nobody else? Um, I agree. I think it's the kind of topic that like each meeting you are kind of forced to find something to talk about. It will, it kind of comes up when a developer needs something. Like for example, when I was working on the soft, soft search and pageant, um, pagination wasn't working how it should have, in my opinion, then we went in and me and Frito 
talked about how it should be working. And I think that's sort of one of the goals of this, not really say, but of this idea of user experience, making it more developer, sort of like making it for the developer. Yeah, and, and from, from my point of view, uh, it would be a good behavior for everybody of us to think about user experience. I, I'm, I'm super pretty sure that everybody has a different opinion on that one. Like, I don't know why freaking Kubernetes people just have one dash, but then like a word, uh, which is against everything I like because I like new uh, arguments. But I think uh, having these opinions and exchanging these opinions and really deciding on what is a good uh, user experience for, for our users should be a discussion topic for us. Don't need to formalize on the on the forum on the on the framework. Um, we should pop it up here and talk about it. So uh, I basically agree with you, uh, Pep. It it is an important uh, topic, but um, what is the right way to to tackle that topic? Well, um, as a seek, uh, it it would if the seek persist, um, let's say the idea would be to put it to work. And many, this means it doesn't have to be more meetings because we, but at least the regular cadence of, of things to do uh, and, and review. And one thing that might or might not, this is up for discussion, but uh, like we are f focusing lately in the past few sprints, like making sure that everything works together, integration tests, maybe or maybe not, but maybe this could fall into that that sake and something to like say like uh, something to review or drive from whoever drives that say um, or scoping of you know what where should we go or where should we not go in terms of of changes to you know. What the user API or Tamos or each of the basically externally facing features that we provide or not something like that. Again, I I agree, but uh, why don't we why don't we use this forum here, the Tech Talk, uh, to, to talk about these topics? That's an option. Yeah, we are all seek user experience. We are all users. Let's try it out like that. I I again vote for uh, uh, closing this one and take the uh, the take that that mandate or take that uh, that goal of uh, let's think about user experience into this meeting. Okay, I'll put it in a different way then. Um, in going back to the, so this, the, if we see, we follow, here we are following Kubernetes uh, guidance, I'd say in terms of what is a seek and how, and one of the criteria there is that each repo should, must be owned by a seek, right? Uh, each piece of code must be owned by a seek. If we close that seek, who owns Kebechet? Sorry, for example, to give an example, or or Tamos, which are significant pieces of uh, or the user API. Um, yeah, a fair aspect. Um, do we want to follow that close uh, the Kubernetes uh, example? Uh, I don't know. I, I I think we should keep it personally. Uh, I because I, I do think it's a big aspect of of what we do. Um, maybe I'm biased because I'm I'm working on camera shut a lot. Um, but having a a meeting where we talk about uh, the features and like 
user interaction and actually like we could also take a more proactive role um, to user experience where we go out and um, ask users what they think of things. Um, I don't know. So you're you're biased towards what? Ha having uh, the SIG? Keep, keeping it, keeping the SIG, yeah. OK. Yeah, let's do that. Um, then um, let's, mm, let's devote uh, a fraction of the Tech Talk meeting to user experience topics. Maybe we generate some some sprint goals out of that. Maybe we generate some specific actions like like issues um, out of that. Maybe we we circle around the the different tools like like um, uh, MicroPip and Phantamos and Kebeshet and let's see. But let's let's devote a little bit of um, time of this meeting to user experience. Then I'm going to keep the uh, sick user experience. Sounds good mm -hmm. to me, but any other thoughts? Okay. For six. And All of them have, like the first three, have separate dedicated meetings. User experience will, for now, be part of this this meeting. And then the others are not mm, are not six. Now, one final question on this topic, and. <laughs> So repo ownership, um, what happens with the many, many repos that do not currently belong to any of those four or six? Again, it's, it's on the, I mean, maybe we can say, well, we don't follow Kubernetes guidance that closely. Maybe this is something to review, and and we should. Um, um, a, um, I don't know if uh, that needs to be done. If every repository needs to be mapped to a zig, and B, um, for me the fallback solution is it is either uh, DevSecOps or um, stack guidance. Anyways. Right, because everything that we do should be uh, either contributing to a stack guidance in some way. Uh, for example, the um, uh, prescription update job, all these update jobs, um, all these ad advice and storage and all that stuff, it, it's all somehow related to stack guidance. You could have a meaningful fallback to any of these uh, six uh, that we have for every repository, from my point of view. So that that would be the alternative. I, either we say we don't care that much for one-to-one -one mapping, um, or we say, well, we have a meaningful default to one of these four. Or does it does it is that is that too pragmatic? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't have everything on on my head. In practical terms, so being pragmatic, uh, ideal. What happens again in the Kubernetes well, uh, is that in like usually the owners files uh, provide labels to you know, because that part belongs to that sake, it automatically gets labeled. Maybe we can start to think about this when we, anytime we update owners, add, think about adding a SIG label to it. 
and and see if if that fits or not and if not well raise a hand or or something you you are muted i know i know i know okay. um uh shall we do it like that that we gonna have a first iteration and try to uh give every repository uh to a sig and um if we strongly feel yeah it belongs to this zig it shouldn't be a topic right um for example advice uh, advisor is pretty obvious um stack uh, stack guidance toth application is pretty obvious devsecops so we we could do these pretty obvious um assignments and on the next iteration we see what le what is left and and try to think about these i would i would rather do um small steps and move forward than than having a an, like a dogmatic uh, scheme that we must follow mm -hmm. okay and um that also gives others the opportunity or actually that could be a, a an ask um to to have an opinion on that one right um i i don't know if it is obviously why if it is obvious why we do that stuff um i don't know if we see advantages um assigning repositories to zigs so maybe maybe everybody think about that and uh, have questions or comments cool any 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 further uh, comments on that one because for me it feels like yeah let's let's move forward let's do a little bit let's clean up a little bit it's good um let's do more stuff later on okay good then i mean it's last time i bring that topic for a while at yep. least for a week yeah no <laughs> or more yeah just kidding um any other topics from anyone I just have something to say after we stop recording. Yes, me too. Let me find the button. Actually, one, two, three.